Sound designing reels is a science. Most creators show you how to do the flashy edits, but almost no one shows you how to do the actual sound design. So if you are a beginner, simply download the resources and follow along. In this video, we are going to create this. It all comes down to three simple steps. In step one, we are going to add the motion sounds like the whoosh, the swoosh and the rises. Let's get started. So coming over here in Premiere, let's observe our first scene. So at the beginning, we have the statue coming up with some text effects and then we transition to scene 2. So let's start adding the sound effects. Firstly, when the statue is coming in, let's add a simple swoosh over here. Let's search for simple, drag and drop it over here. Let's zoom in a bit, reduce the volume a bit, nice. In fact, I want it to be a little slower. So we'll do one thing in the clip speed and duration. See, the other way of going over here is simply right clicking over here and coming to speed and duration. So over here, we're going to reduce the speed to 80. Okay, let's see. Nice. Now see over here, when we transition to scene 2, I want to add a build up and an impact. So for that, we're going to add a riser. So let's search for riser. Let's drag and drop it over here. In fact, we don't need the initial one. Let's get it on the right. Reduce the volume again. Nice. Let's fade it a bit at the beginning. Perfect. So right now we're only focusing on step one and adding the swooshes and the whooshes. So in step two, we're going to add all the realistic effect, which will take our reel to a next level. For now, just bear with me and we'll complete our step one. Next, let's have a look. See, we have some motion over here when these objects are going up. See like this. So let's add sound effect over here. We're going to search for smooth whoosh. Let's place it at this position. See over here in the presets, you get some default options. You can make the sound close up or you can even make it distant. For now, I want to make the sound as distant. Let's see. Nice. Let's keep a little earlier. Perfect. Let's have a look. See for all these motions, we'll add an effect, but we'll add the realistic effect. We'll cover that in our step two. See now when this mobile is coming up, let's add a simple bush. Search for bush. This bush fits perfectly in this case. Let's click on this reduce the volume and also fade it a bit at the beginning. No, maybe a little earlier. Okay, let's increase the volume a bit. Nice. Now see what's happening. See it's coming in and then we have a zoom in effect. So for that, let's add a riser. This time we'll add a different one. Let's search for riser. We'll add the swoosh riser demo. Let's keep it over here. Let's decrease the volume a bit. Let's hear this. Okay, no, maybe a little earlier. Nice. Let's cut the extra layers. Perfect. So this took care of our step one. We have kept it very simple. And in our step two, we are going to add the foley sounds. These are the sounds which add a realism to your reel. Examples of this could be footsteps, camera sounds, marker sounds, or even the scratches. At the start, see we have these lines going from the top and the bottom. So for that, let's add our effects. So we have already used these two layers for our motion sounds. We will use layer three and layer four for our foley sounds. Let's add a track over here. So let's search for pencil. We have these pencil lines. Let's drag and drop it over here. Let me in fact make it a little bigger. Okay, it should be somewhere over here. Let's trim it on the right. Let me hear this. Okay, so we'll do one thing. We'll cut this over here and keep this one below at this position. Let's hear this. Nice. So let's select both of them. Reduce the volume. Right click, go to label and let's keep it as volume. Now I want to add one more effect so that we can put an emphasis on the word saying. So for that, we'll add a simple pen click sound. Let's drag and drop it over here. Let's see. Nice. So we'll do one thing. Let's cut the remaining. Let's fade it up a bit. Let's keep it over here. Let's reduce the volume a bit. Nice. So see, when the word saying is coming in, at the same time, we have our sound. Perfect. Next, we'll do something called as effect stacking, where we'll add two effects on top of each other to double the impact. We'll do it over here when we have this transition, right? So firstly, we'll add the gear sound. Let's drag and drop it over here. Let's go to the right. Let me see where it is. Okay, somewhere over here. Okay, reduce the volume. Fade it a bit like this. Nice. Now you see one more thing. A flash is happening. So for that, we'll also add the camera flash. Let's drag and drop it over here. Reduce the volume and again, fade it a bit. Nice. Looks awesome, right? Let's select both of them and again quickly label it as wallet. Perfect. Let's see. See now one more thing is happening. When the strip is coming up, see like this. 
I want to add a marker song. See, by now you would have understood. We're simply looking at whatever is happening at the screen and adding an appropriate sound effect for the shape. It's not really that difficult, right? Let's add the marker. Keep it over here. Okay, again, I want to make it full screen. Let's take it over here. Let's see. Nice. Now let's go over here in speed duration. Let's keep it around 90. Okay. Let's see. Awesome. Okay, let's proceed. Perfect. This looks good. Okay, see we have this strip coming in the background. So for that, we'll again simply add the same marker. Okay. Let's especially keep it as violet. Copy this. Come into the right. Let's place it. Here it is. Okay, it should come later earlier. I'm going to keep it as around 60%. Okay, we'll place the marker over here. Perfect. Next for the transition, we'll add the camera shutter. This effect works nicely when you want to add a transition. So over here in this case, let's place it over here. Let me firstly hear this. Nice. It looks good. Perfect. And now you see this text is coming in. For that, we'll add a simple digital counter. Simply go over here, search for digital. Just place it over here. Let me hear this. Okay, no, this is too much. So we'll do one thing. First, we'll reduce the volume. It's too loud. Okay. Just okay. place it over here. Okay. Yeah. So maybe a little ahead like this nice okay let's proceed okay now when the transition is happening at that time we'll add a film camera shutter these are hard and much more impactful than the camera shutter which we are using during the transition so here search for film camera shutter see this one place it over here let's see okay it will be somewhere over here nice and now finally, again, when this transition is happening from this, again to zoom out, at that time, we'll add a simple shutter. See the one which we added earlier, right? See this one. So copy, coming over here, simply paste it. Delete the rest. Let me hear this. Nice. Let's color all of them wallet. Perfect. Let's have a quick look what we have created on step one and step two. After that, we'll proceed to our final step. Also, finally now step 3 we are going to add the emotion or the ambient sounds. So over here you can add any pits or sounds that will set the ambience of the reel. So in this case I have the simple trap music. See I want this reel to be funky. So I am just going to add this trap music. We will add one more track over here. Let's add this. Let's stream it at the start. I don't want it to be too loud. Fade it completely and keep it very low. Maybe around 20, 23 like this. Looks awesome, right? That's our final look at what you have created today. Perfect. That's it guys for this tutorial. I really hope you learned something new from this video. If you loved the video, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time.